Today we're at a new build development site which is 27 apartments which they've just finished completing. They're worth 7.2 million and my partner got into this project with no money down. Let's go on inside and I'll show you exactly how they've done the deal. If you're watching my videos for the first time, my name is Saj Hussain, and on this channel, I share with you my 15 years of property investing experience to ultimately help you get further faster in your property investing journey. The site that we're on today is just south of Birmingham. It's in Solihull, so a very nice location. It's 27 apartments. They've pretty much all been sold. This is the only one that's still available, the one that we're in right now. So 26 of them are gone. They were a mixture of one bedroom, two bedrooms, and also the penthouse suite as well. The penthouse has stunning views. Unfortunately, it's now occupied. We can't go and show you that one. That was one of the first ones uh, to sell. However, they've pretty much finished work on site now. There's just a few people still here doing some snagging and finishing off a little bit of detail. As I said, this is the only apartment now still left and still available. However, it hasn't been a smooth journey by any means in terms of getting here. Let me show you a little bit more of the apartment and I'll tell you about how the deal has been structured and how he managed to structure it no money down with potential two million pound profit. Russell, who's one of my business partners, he originally came across this site some time ago, but when he looked at it, it didn't quite work at that particular time. And that's the really interesting thing when you're looking at development project. On the face of it, they don't always stack up. Sometimes it's a case of they look great, other times there could be other challenges with it. There were certainly a number of challenges with this site, and that is the key in terms of perseverance to make these sort of projects work. Not only there were some challenges around the numbers, trying to make it stack and how it's going to get funding, how it's going to work. The challenge was this is about a £7 million development project and he was looking at doing this without putting any money down. So quite a challenge in itself. Although there was already planning on this site for the 27 units, there were a number of conditions that needed to be discharged. So it wasn't the case you could just move a team of builders out and start building it out. And those conditions meant certain reports needed to be done and quite a bit of money needed to be spent. So what he managed to do is borrow some of the money to get those reports all done and get it what we call oven ready, ready to start building out immediately and then found the funders who would fund the project because at that point it's ready because the end value was 7.2 million the purchase price was 1.2 million so the land was purchased for 1.2 million the demolition was dealt with the conditions were all discharged ready for the contractors to move in on site who were then stage paid to be able to build out this particular project now you think that sounds really simple right nice and easy and get it done however these things are not always that straightforward so there's a number of challenges also along the way there to deal with because the person who was selling the site wanted a little bit more. So he had to get cut into the deal in terms of the back end. So he would get another slice of the pie at the end, which is why he agreed to be able to have to sell the property at the figure that they wanted to make the deal work as opposed to the number he wanted up front. So just because somebody wants a certain amount of money for their project, it doesn't mean that you have to dismiss it because you can't get it to work. What you can in fact do is look at a more creative way. How can you involve them into a deal? How can you maybe stage pay them, maybe pay some of it later on? One of the most scariest things when trying to do a development like this is how do you find the money to be able to do something this size? Well, I've always said, you know, if you get really good at finding the deals, the money will come and find you. Actually, it's so true when you look at developments like this, because as long as those numbers stack, and that's the absolute key thing, as long as those numbers stack, it's actually not that difficult to fund these type of projects. So if you look at the numbers on a GDV of around 7 million, 7.2 million, there's about 30% profit margin on that because the overall acquisition cost of the site and the build out was about 5 million. So that leaves quite a sizable profit margin, a couple of million pounds there. So the developers that, uh, when they need to raise the funds, when they go to um, development funders, they're quite happy to fund this project, to pay for the initial purchase of the site, then stage pay the development. 
because they know their money's safe and they'll be able to get their uh, money uh, out of the project because as uh, a site like this, as it's been sold, they get their money paid back in chunks as well. So a nice safe deal, it's very easy to fund a deal like this as long as those numbers work. Of course, the other part of making a project like this succeed is having a great contractor on board. The other key thing of making a site like this really work well is having a great contractor on board who's gonna be able to deliver your vision and be able to create what is it that you need. But this site has had its struggles as well with a contractor. As I mentioned earlier on, this is the only apartment left that's still available at this particular site. It's a two bedroom ground floor apartment, it's about 800 square foot and the asking price is 255,000. If you'd like to learn more about the apartment or you'd like to arrange a viewing, then certainly ping us a message and we can help you with that. If you're enjoying this content, then do me a favor, make sure you smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. That way YouTube will let you know when we're doing these videos and you're not missing out on any of this amazing content. What would also help me is what kind of things would you like to see in these videos? What kind of figures, what kind of projects? Pop in the comment section below and I'm gonna do my very best to produce the content that you want to see. The pandemic has impacted many businesses over the last year and construction has been no different. It's also suffered as well. This particular site, unfortunately, once it got so far, the main building structure is up and they're starting to fit out. The, con the construction company went into administration and also left uh, my partner on a problem with this particular site. We've had a similar problem on our other new build site as well where we had uh, the, uh, the new houses that we're building. If you haven't already seen that, we'll link that up here for you to go and have a look at well, where we had the construction company there going to administration as well. So it seems like there's a number of businesses that have suffered in this way. In fact, I have another friend down the road about half a mile from here who's building a similar site to this where they're building out a set of apartments and their contractor's gone into administration as well. So I don't know if there's a bit of a, a pandemic with the construction companies going to administration. It just shows the pandemic that has had a big impact of different businesses in different ways. Although the property prices are booming, there's lots of interest, properties are selling very quickly, but there's still other parts of business that have had an impact. And later in the year, when we start seeing uh, people coming out of lockdown and they start to see some normality, I'm sure we're gonna see further fallouts with businesses suffering from what's happened over the last year or so. When the construction company goes into administration, it can cause quite a few problems and we've experienced this, as I said, ourselves as well. So what's had to happen here is Russell is taking on the role of project managing and finishing the site through. Particularly when you've got a, a nice, luxurious set of apartments as we have here, that finish is really important. So he stepped in to make sure everything is done to a good standard. So you know, you've got the nice quality quartz worktops, you've got the chrome, uh, fittings here, the USB chargers, uh, you've got air ventilation system, nice quality uh, doors. The whole thing has got a really nice finish. But when somebody's buying a property like this, and you might have heard me saying this before, people are making decisions of hundreds of thousands of pounds literally within a few minutes. When they're coming to view a property like this, they're here in a few minutes and making that decision. So it's really important the finish is done to a really good standard and it looks spectacular. And also making sure everything works properly uh, as well, because sometimes when you have an issue where the contractor's gone bump and you have to pick up and rectify things, you have to do more work than it was uh, done initially and the delays can be costly and sometimes you have to redo things as well. That also adds to the cost as well. And this is where the really good profit margin absolutely helps. Now look, if you're interested in getting involved in the projects that we're doing, then make sure you reach out to us. If you're interested in getting involved in the funding of some of the projects that we're doing, then certainly send us a message that we can explore how that will work. Projects like this, where there's a GDB in excess of seven million pounds, where you're putting next to no money into it with a potential profit around two million pounds, you're not gonna stumble across these every day. 
However, these deals are out there. They are out there to be done, but the trick is not just looking for something like this that you can get into literally no money down, but looking for deals where there is an opportunity, but you need to work with the people involved, whether it's the owner, the funders, other people need to come on board to make the deal work for everybody because there's enough in that, there's a big enough pie to be able to share and everybody to benefit from. And if you wanna learn more about doing deals like this or getting involved with some project, then certainly reach out to us and we can arrange to have a chat. We can arrange a call to discuss how we can help you get further faster in your property investment journey. If you've enjoyed this video then let me know in the comments below what is it specifically that you've enjoyed and what is it you'd like to see more of so I can do videos just like that for you. What I've got lined up next for you to watch just over here is a video on another project that we've done on a new build site that you can also go and have a look at. I'm sure you're going to enjoy that but before you go don't forget to click on my face just down here to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you on this next video over here.